of breaking news this hour as Maine's top election official has now disqualified Donald Trump from the ballot in that state, an effort that was underway. CNN's Caitlin Polance has just read this filing and is following this. Caitlin, what is the Secretary of State saying in this decision here? Caitlin, the Secretary of State of Maine is saying that Donald Trump is not qualified to be on the ballot in the primary in the state of Maine after reviewing petitions from different people who came to her and wanted to remove Trump from the ballot. I'm still looking through it, but one of the findings here from the Secretary of State is that Trump must meet certain qualifications to be able to be on the ballot and is finding uh, that he is not meeting those qualifications and thus cannot be on the ballot. Now, this is a big decision from the Secretary of State of Maine. Make no mistake about that. Uh, it is in line with what Colorado appears to have done here as well with the Colorado Supreme Court looking at at Donald Trump being on the primary ballot there and saying he couldn't be. But the thing about Maine is that there's going to be a lot of opportunity to appeal this. So the Secretary of State is the person here making that decision instead of the court system. But what happens next is that Trump and others all have the opportunity to go to Maine's court system to appeal this. And all of that can play out in a very short amount of time. We could have some sort of resolution in the courts, depending on how fast the courts move and how fast everyone goes to the court. It could be a decision where we're hearing the main court system also coming in and interpreting the state law within a month or so, basically by the end of January. And so, Caitlin Pollens, just because this is breaking news, we truly have just gotten this in. I just want to be clear. The Secretary of State here is pausing her decision pending potential action from the Supreme Court? I have not gotten to that point in reading this conclusion yet. I would have to look at that a little bit more closely. Things get very uh, complicated when it comes to pausing rulings. Um, but one of the things with this that we should be very clear about here is that the courts are almost certainly going to be weighing in, both state courts in Maine, because there's all kinds of things in the law for Maine to allow Trump or others to appeal this decision from the Secretary of State. That state court can look at it. And of course, Caitlin, the Supreme Court of the United States is already looking at that petition from Colorado's Republican Party saying, please weigh in because every state has a different process and is making different decisions about Donald Trump being on primary ballots in 2024. I mean, Caitlin, this is fascinating given what happened in Colorado just last week when the, the, court, the Supreme Court there decided to remove Donald Trump from the, pri the primary ballot in a four to three decision. That was unprecedented. We had never seen that happen in our nation's history. Now it has happened for a second time in the state of Maine, following the decision by the Michigan Supreme Court to say, you know, we're not getting involved in this. He can stay on the ballot. I, I think what's important here is a little bit of background because for those who haven't been following this closely, there are three complaints here and two of them were based on the same section of the Constitution that that decision in Colorado was, which is, you know, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, basically finding, you know, that Trump, you know, as they did in Colorado, he could not hold office again because of his actions on January 6th. Given the difference here and how this went, not through the courts, but to the Secretary of State, what could that mean for the for the future of the decision that has just been made by the Secretary of State in Maine? Yeah, well, who is making this decision is always going to be a question, especially if the U.S. Supreme Court looks at this. So in the situation in Colorado, it was the Supreme Court of Colorado, the highest court in that state, looking at uh, basically holding a trial to determine Trump was an insurrectionist in their view and also determining they had the ability to take him off the primary ballot under the state's law. Now, in all of the other states, including in Maine, there is always going to be a question before the Supreme Court, can these people even do this? Can a secretary of state make this sort of decision in party primaries related to who voters can cast their ballots for? And so whenever this goes to the Supreme Court, it's it's very unlikely at the very beginning, right now, where we're still in this primary process, this first emergency application is before the U.S. Supreme Court, that the Supreme Court, uh, the nine justices in Washington, D.C., that they're going to be making a call on whether Trump is an insurrectionist or not. They're very likely going to be looking first at the sort of thing that the Colorado GOP wants them to look at, saying, you can't remove the ability for voters to vote for certain people. And yeah. that's just the big question that is before the Supreme Court as far as the papers we have right now.